All right, so here's what I'm going to do. So this journal right here, this is your seal journal for like a mechanical seal. And they bring me these shafts every so often and they're, they're used and what happens, see these factory shafts are carbon steel. And this gets rusted and pitted really bad in here. So what I'll do is I usually turn these down. I, I'll go ahead and turn it on back to this shoulder and then I'll machine a stainless sleeve and install on it right here. But uh, I want to try something different this time. What I'd like to do is go ahead and spray weld this. The, uh, the powder that I use for my spray welder has, has nickel in it and it's, uh, it's corrosion resistant. It's like stainless. So I would like to use that on this one here is to uh, go, we'll go ahead and build it up and uh, metalize it like I've done in the past on other jobs. And that'll, that'll give us a nice uh, corrosion resistant surface here for the seals without having to uh, turn this down further and then set up and machine a stainless sleeve and put on there and then turn it back to size. All right, so let me get set up and get it undercut. Right, I'm gonna start making my undercuts now. this radius right in the center here that's deeper than what I want to go so what we'll do is we'll undercut all this and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to undercut that clean it's okay to have um, a deeper spot somewhere if you've got to go deeper instead of cutting the whole thing deeper you just undercut that one area Okay, that's 20 thousandths, which should be plenty deep there. So I'm going to come here in the center and go ahead and touch that up and clean it up. Alright, I'm going to set up a, a thread here. pitch we'll go about 15 deep it's going to be real hard to try to undercut or uh, thread this right here, but I'll give it a shot. No, didn't do it, did I? Okay, that'll work. It ain't gotta be pretty or perfect. It's just uh, something for the uh, spray to bite to. All right, we'll go.
center. shaft cooled down. I'm going to start turning it. come off. Alright, that was my final cut there. This should have left me with a couple thousandths that I can uh, polish this down. Yeah, I've got two thousandths, and I like to leave it a little bit high. That way, when I polish it, it'll, it'll take the high marks out of the out of the tool marks there, and leave a nice smooth finish on it. And I might have to come in here with my radius tool and and uh, cut that that spray out of that. work it out of there. There we go. Maybe that's it. Just have to polish it good. about a one thousand okay real close 
real close. Alright, that's warmed it up a little. I'm going to let that cool back down. Uh, let me find another piece. I'm going to polish up those other ends. here okay we're uh, about a tenth over so I'm gonna call it basically done I'm gonna have to come back and touch it up and polish it again I'm gonna hit it uh, with my gray scotch bright here but it's got a little bit of warmth to it just from that polishing so I want to let it cool down for a few minutes and I will get it to size and then the last thing I got to do is go over to the mill we've got a mill of 3 16 keyway in there well, here it is set up in the mill. Here's my little setup. Um, I decided to use my machinist jack this time to get it leveled up. That was actually my granddad's machinist jack out of his box. I'm going to use my mister. And I've already got the, uh, the depth set. I've got it centered and uh, the depth set on the end mill. I always touch off, uh, uh, find a flat where you can feel a little tiny edge on each side. And I feed it up, uh, this case, 0.093. I usually go two or three thousandths uh, to give it just an extra little bit of clearance there. So here we go. I'm just gonna cut it to that radius there. Get some mist going. Come on, there we go. there it is I'll do a check make sure we're there but uh, otherwise all I got to do is just file it and the job will be ready all right guys there's you a, a uh, final shot of the repair job that we did we got everything on size we've got us a nice corrosion resistant surface here for the seals and hopefully they're ready to go Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.